Blogging is popular. Everyone's already doing it. You're probably already doing it. But you know what? Compared to five, ten years ago, blogging is so common that people don't even read all the blog posts right now. Eight out of ten people will read your headline, but only two out of ten will click through and read your article. That just shows that people are desensitized to blog posts and they're not really reading them. Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm going to teach you how to write a blog post that people will actually read. So if you're going to write a blog post, there's a few things that you need to know. Number one, write with the words you and I. If you don't include the words you and I, people aren't going to feel that it's a conversation. If they don't feel that it's a conversation, they're going to think of it as like a college lecture and they're going to leave. When you're more conversational with people, they're more likely to engage, read, and respond. Number two, your paragraphs can't be more than five or six lines. The moment they're more than five or six lines, it's just overwhelming. People don't want to go through that. If you look at neilpatel.com, you'll even notice that a lot of my paragraphs are only two or three lines. I even have some paragraphs that are only one line. Number three, use subheadings. Subheadings break down sections within your blog post so it makes it easier to skim. Without subheadings, people won't be able to get the gist of your content without reading the whole thing, which means you're gonna get less readers. Through subheadings, people can go down to the section of the blog post that they wanna read and read that area and then keep scrolling through. Number four, make sure you use a conclusion, right? Write a conclusion every time you create a blog post and label that conclusion, conclusion. It keeps it really simple. People can scroll down, read your conclusion, know what your blog post is about, and decide if they wanna scroll back up and read the rest. I know that sounds weird, but that actually is the visitor slash reader pattern when they're scrolling through and reading your blog post. A lot of people go down, read the conclusion, then go back up. Number five. With your blog post, make sure you cite your information. Don't just come up with the facts and data without citing it. If you do that, people are gonna call BS and not come back. Number six, use photos. As they say, a picture says a thousand words. If you're using graphics and images to explain the message that you're trying to convey, people are much more likely to read and stick around. Number seven, make sure your article is really thorough and actionable. If someone reads your article and they're like, oh cool, I know I can go do something after reading this, they're gonna be like, great, I should keep reading their content. I once Googled how to install a bidet and I came up with the article that didn't even teach me how to install a bidet. Never went back to that site. And that site is called How Stuff Works. Their articles weren't informative, weren't actionable, so I was never gonna read them. If you follow those tactics, you're gonna create blog posts that people actually wanna read. <laughs>